programming. Thank you for watching. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to get familiar with Visual Studio 2019 Community Version Layout, explore various Windows settings, properties, and important pieces that are necessary to be successful within Visual Studio 2019's environment. Probably most people never heard Visual Studio ask this question. What does Visual Studio do? Well, Visual Studio is what we call an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. It is called integrated because it is a whole set of tools that we use to get our work done. Mainly, it is used to develop computer programs. We can manage our projects through source control, build and deploy software deliverables, and it also allows us to write code faster using built-in libraries. We can develop, analyze, debug, and test our program right within the Visual Studio environment. As you can see, Visual Studio does a lot. We can create various applications using Visual Studio, for instance, desktop and mobile, gaming and web, cloud applications, and of course, Crestron c -sharp programming for Crestron systems. After the installation of Visual Studio 2019, be sure to check the following. Go to the Control Panel, Programs, and select Programs and Features. Find Visual Studio 2019, right-click, then select Change. This will verify whether .NET Framework 4.7 was installed or not. If you have not installed this package, please proceed to do so before beginning the project. When we open Visual Studio, it is very fast to open. While it is loading, it also asynchronously loads your most recent projects if you have done so like me, and it pins to the most recently loaded project section. When we create a new project, it has this search-based view where you can quickly search what type of applications we intend to develop. If you are not sure what you are searching for, you can further filter under All Languages, All Platforms, and all project types. This would give you a smaller list so that you're not overwhelmed by all you see in the list. Once we create new project, select class library .NET framework from the list, then next. Give a name to your project, my first project. Notice the path for my location. C colon backslash users backslash bcnr backslash source backslash repos. Then we select .NET Framework 4.7 and hit Create. One of the first things you will notice when you open Visual Studio 2019 is the new Roslyn Colorization Syntax Methods text and parameters, variables, etc. We will explore these concepts as we code within Visual Studio's IDE. Once the project has been created, we will see that namespace, which is a container associated with your project name, in my case, it is my first program. After importing NuGet packages, you will see our newly created project with default class class 1, and a class called controlsystem.cs within Visual Studio 2019. You will need to use controlsystem.cs for Crestron systems, and you can delete the default class, class 1. In Visual Studio, you will also notice various window selection options. On the right, you will see Solution Explorer. This is where you will see your project name and related file package indications for your project. Right below Solution Explorer, we will notice properties for your project. Notice the path where the project has been saved to give you a quick path repository. We may resize these windows by grabbing with a left mouse click 
when you see the double arrowheads. A lot of times you may close a window. For instance, by mistake, we may close the toolbox tab on the left or resize solution explorer view and cannot get back to the usual default settings. We can certainly return to the default settings. We can go to the Windows menu and select Reset Windows Layout. This would reset all our project settings to the default layout. Within the editor view, there are various selections which you can quickly navigate what you're looking for, or you can quickly jump to certain sections of the code. For instance, if we were trying to locate Constructor within my program, we would select the drop-down arrow on the right of the editor window, then select Control System. This would take me to the constructor for my program. We will learn more about these terms, constructors, classes, and objects later on with our video tutorial series. There is an additional feature in Visual Studio that allows you to add third-party extensions to make our coding style better or faster. To speed up our coding, you can install third-party extensions, for instance, Reshaper, developed by JetBrains. Thank you for watching.